this is Ashwin again. So in the last tutorial, we saw how to use the doc strings and how to access these doc strings programmatically. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how to use the multi-line doc strings in Python. So let us save this uh, code first. Okay, so first, okay, so uh, uh, many times there are uh, scenarios where uh, where the single line doc string is not enough. So there is so much of description that we want to uh, put as a comment and uh, a single line is not, uh, not going to be enough if there are a lot of uh, sentences or uh, if you are going to uh, like put that in one line uh, the uh, reader or the person who is going to read your code later will have to scroll that. So you don't want that sort of stuff to happen. You just want uh, everything to be organized into um, uh, into simple and viewable um, uh, into simple and viewable file okay so uh, in that case you need to use uh, multi-line doc strings so let's see how a multi-line doc string feature works okay so now uh, let's uh, convert the first line uh, that is the first doc string to the multi-line doc string so I will say this is the doc string section for this file this is an example of a multi-line multi-line doc string okay so now uh, the we have converted the first doc string into the, uh, a multi-line doc string so let's see how uh, we can call this uh, doc string we can just like call it the way we have called it earlier we can just say print doc and it will call the doc string so uh, essentially there is no difference between how uh, we programmatically access the doc string we just need to use the same syntax while um, printing the doc string just uh, say print uh, doc or uh, whatever object that uh, doc string is associated with just say that object name dot uh, method name and doc so but uh, there is a major difference in how we uh, how we write these doc strings like multi-line doc strings so now if you want to make this class doc string as a multi-line doc string that is also possible just say this is a doc string for class point uh, this class defines a point in three dimensional Space. Okay, so now this is a multi-line doc string, uh, which is a uh, which is a description of which is a detailed description of a class point. Uh, the, this class point defines a point in three-dimensional space. So we are mentioning it in the code itself. So this is the initializer method for class point. So let's even make this as a multi-line doc string. Let's just say. this method assigns the values or this method calls the assign method of this class so here we go here we go uh, we have got a multi-line doc string for this method too so the same way we can have the multi-line doc strings for all the methods so we will just create a variable for this class the object p1 point again let's initialize it as an origin of our coordinate system and let's print p1 dot doc file save and let's run the module okay so as you can see this is the doc string section of this file this is an example of multi-line doc string so uh, uh, this is how we uh, use the multi-line doc strings in our code 